What's up guys, I'm back and I'm doing a little bit different video today. I'm doing a video based around how to understand slash play Civilization 5 because I've been streaming it recently and it's brought to my attention that it's kind of really hard to understand. And I had a bit of time trying to understand it in the beginning too. So yeah, I'm just going to go through playing single player and play a few, through a few like stages of the game and then I'll show you basically what everything means, like all the... Uh, things on the side, like the GUI type thing. So let's hop right into how to set up like a single player game. I usually just go to uh, single player and do set up game, because it gives you more uh, options. I go to select leader, we're just going to pick for this right now, we're going to pick the Celts. You can pick random too, or like any other people in there. Um, now this is, this uh, thing is going to be going over with the complete edition so if there's some stuff in here that doesn't look familiar to you then you probably don't have the complete edition so yeah just keep that in mind map type Pangaea you can do Pangaea <laughs> continents Pangaea archipelago which is a bunch of islands fractal which is like uh, snaky continents there's earth additional maps which is a lot I haven't even looked into any of these oh my goodness yeah there's a lot of maps but for this right now we're just gonna pick Pangea. So let's go. Oh my goodness. The amount of time you can just put in. Actually, not. We'll just do continents. We'll do that. Uh, map size. You can do small, tiny, dual. Four city states. Tiny, small. I usually just do small because it's, it's, it goes along a little bit quicker than usual. Alright, standard, which is the game pace, and you can pick any one of these. What's this one for learning the game? Alright, well. We're going to go over uh, Beginner because that's usually what I do. And if you want to learn the game, you can just click on Learn the Game and figure it out. But if you want to learn Beginner without going through some dumb tutorial, uh, yeah, this is a good video. Alright, let's start the game. Now it's going to give us a quick little preview of this This person. Let me pump up my sounds. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud. There's not very much like general music. Actually, there is kind of, but... I don't really hear it often. Alright, beginner junior journey. I'm not gonna read this. It's just kind of a description of the people. So basically, right when you start in, it looks really confusing because there's all these things that's going on. So up this, let's start in the top left hand corner. We have this little arrow down thing. This gives uh, what you can show. There's like a little meter up here for different things like you can show in the game. Usually I just click on, I usually have research info here. Because it's really helpful to, like, when you're researching to see how long it is until it finishes. It has usually a little in parentheses how long until it finishes. I'll actually show you that in a minute. Um, unit list. This shows you this. Usually I, it just switches you to your unit, so you usually don't have to look at this. Uh, city list. This is when you have a lot of cities. You want to look at all the lists and what kind of power they have. Resource list. This is all of your resources and your trade information. This is actually quite useful. Uh, great person list. This is all your, like, great people and what they're doing and your progress on these basically so yeah we're just gonna start off putting on research info because that's usually what I have it on so right let's go down to this corner uh, this is the settler right here these are his things he can do see it describes the settler has this movement and you can basically you can move this guy around anywhere in this turn where this little blue line is around you can't really see over here because of the clouds Clouds are places you haven't explored yet. But if you go outside of the blue area, see so he goes to 2, that means he'll move there this turn, the next turn he'll move there. <laughs> and you won't have to dictate next turn where he'll move. So that's kind of helpful. Usually I just move it one turn, because then you can change your mind depending on what's what you see in the clouds. So, let's have... Um, this actually this looks like a quite a good... You want to settle? You want to settle your, your little guy around uh, somewhere where there's a lot of resources right at the beginning. But you don't want to take too much time, because then you get behind other cities so you usually you just go like this w explore a little bit and then you just pick where you want to settle it so I think I'm going to settle it right here because <laughs> this is close to pearls fish and marble that's what I'm gonna do next turn alright so let's have this guy go right usually in the beginning I just use warriors to, to scout instead of actually getting a scout oh ruins so we'll go over that in a minute let's first get our our guy we're gonna have him settle hmm let me think I don't know if I want him here or there. Usually you want him in a high area too, but I want to be closer to... Actually, yeah, let's have... I ah, changed my mind. I'm going to have... So every time it ends, like you can't do anything else, so stick next turn over here. 
when it's not ended, it usually says unit needs to, needs orders. So yeah. So we're gonna go to here, and then I'm gonna explain everything on this this sidebar right here. So let's go right here, because then we'll be able to reach to. I guess we'll be able to reach pearls if no one's really close to us. So it'll be fine. All right, we're gonna have this guy. Every time you move a player and they can't move anywhere, it switches automatically to the next uh, next unit you can move. So we're gonna go over here and grab these ruins. When it goes, when it like lights up and says ruins are discovered, you wanna go over here. Actually, first we're gonna do that. This is uh, these side things. When there's either a barbarian or another troop you want to attack, you want to hit this, or you can just drag your guy over it. Like you want to move him on top of them, that'll attack the other unit on different civilization or barbarians. This is the move mode. This is basically the same thing as just right left clicking. Whenever I move them, I'm, I'm left clicking and dragging over to where you want to move them. So let me go over this rest of this first. This is do nothing. You can just do this, and then you, this will disappear and it'll say next turn. Uh, this is alert. Which is basically they stand they stand here and if a barbarian comes close to them, then for the future they just stand here, wait until like it keeps saying next turn, just ignores them as a turn until a, a barbarian or whatever comes close to them and it'll wake up and then you can move them around. You can just move them around while they're alert too. But it it won't make you look at them until after like until you want to basically. So let's start this out. Oh, actually, this is another drop down window. This is fortify. It's actually quite useful instead of doing doing nothing. This is actually better, so you want to usually do that. Explore, this is basically just you hit explore, you don't have to touch them, they just walk around exploring stuff. Usually that's good for scouts, I usually don't use it on warriors. Let's go grab this unit, this uh, ruins real quick, real quick. Your unit equips itself with advanced weapons found in the ruins. Usually what you can find in ruins is you can sometimes find technologies, you can sometimes fall, find advanced weapons, usually that's earlier in the game, and usually sometimes you can find gold. Usually it's around 40 gold, give or take. So that's pretty much what you can find in, in ruins, what I just hovered over. Alright, close. Alright, I really need to get these guys. Alright, yeah, next turn. I need to set up a city, because we, we wasted too much time messing around. What settlers can do is they can found a city. They can... Oops, sorry about that. Uh, they can move. Move around. They can do nothing, like I said before. They can sleep. Which is like kind of like uh, staying alert, and they can delete. You can delete them. That's what that little X is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna found a city, and it's gonna create this little area and your city in the middle. Oh well, I'll go over that right when we get back to it. I really like this symbol for Celtic. I like it. All right, let's go over here, explore more. Actually, let's go this way, explore more. Get rid of these clouds over here so we can see more stuff. Oh, there's another ruins. So let's. Oh, we found a natural wonder. All right, so. Basically what this is, this is Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, I, I'll show you what it looks like in a second. It's, if you have increased happiness in the empire. So it raises your happiness when you find it. And if you work it, which means you, uh, your area covers the, where the mountain is, or where the natural wonder is, then it'll give you these type things, which is really useful. I have yet to get lucky enough to find a natural wonder near enough to my civilization to actually work it. So, altitude training. Yeah, see, this is this is uh, actually quite good if you can get that. So yeah, basically what it looks like is if we go over here. Oh, it's right here, right? Yeah, right there. You can't really see much of it right now because we haven't explored much of it. All right. So now that we found the city, as you can see right here, it's Edinburgh. So it's covering right now. It's covering fish. So that's pretty much all we can work. It's also going to be able to cover uh, marble soon once it grows. Cities grow every turn. Actually, see right now is that this uh, purple thing right here, this is where it's going to grow next. And you can also buy tiles, but we don't have the money for that right now. You usually do that later in the game. Or at least I have, to get strategic positions. Alright, so we're going to choose production. Uh, we're going to start off, usually what you want to start with the monument, just get a building in place, instead of just starting off with worker, because then it takes longer, and it's you usually want to pick the, a, a quicker one. And don't choose scout, because that's kind of useless to you in the beginning. Well, it has a use, but it doesn't get you moving very quickly. All right, we're just going to pick Monument. So that's going to be going like that for eight turns. We don't have to worry about uh, production for eight turns. Oh, and let's go over the city little dot things. Oh, actually, wait, one second. I didn't really go over this. All right, so there's this top bar right here. This is the pretty much like the tools bar and like your stats kind of. Right here, this is the science. This is uh, science being produced by Empire Wide towards the current research project. So plus four from from cities. So this is basically like 
the science is actually quite good because it makes your research go faster and later times is actually really helpful. So this is your gold. This is uh, the gold you're getting per turn, this plus three. That's what you're getting for turn. In this drop down menu, I can't really move my mouse to show it, but I assume you see the drop down menu. This is what your gold is coming from and it shows like what your expenses are coming from. Right now I have zero expenses. So next turn I'll have three gold because it's adding three gold per turn. This right here is trade units. Uh, there's nothing there yet because we haven't set up a caravan, which is something you can do in production as well when you get later into the game. So this will show your trade units and what they're doing. This is your happiness. This shows what your negative happiness is coming from. Like it says, total two total ha unhappiness coming from all sources. 1.8 uh, generated from number of cities. The more cities you have, the more unhappiness you have. 0 0.6 generated from population. My happiness is coming from, let's see, zero from having at least one source of following luxury resources, plus one extra ha happiness adding luxury resources, zero total. So I don't have any luxury resources right now. I'm getting mostly all my ha happiness from my difficulty level, which is actually quite interesting. Uh, there's one from there's one from discovering natural wonder. So that's what that went into. This is the golden age bar, basically. When this fills up, it fills up over time. It's 11 is added per turn because of the happiness. Basically, when the Golden Age fills up and it becomes a Golden Age, well, it gets to 500. Or I set up one and, you know, this I'll get into that later. But once it gets to 500, it'll start a Golden Age, which means that basically all my production, uh, gold produces one extra, city exam plus 20% production, and empire-wide culture is increased by 20%. So that's what that does. This is the culture bar when you get to it's right now it's zero out of 15 i have plus one per turn so next turn i'll have one out of 15. once it gets to 15 then i'll be able to pick a policy where you're going to go over that when it comes because it's kind of hard to explain without having the, the little menu right there when it pops up this is my great works uh we'll get into that basically it's you you can develop with your uh policies you can get great people and some of the great people just come they're born in your city we'll go over that when we get there all right faith Zero faith has been accumulated empire-wide. Basically, this is when you set up like a religion, and you can like get a great person, and we're not going to go over that yet. We'll go over it when it comes. All right, this is turns. We have had three turns. This is the time in the, like, when you're doing it. So you'll see this will decrease because it's BC, so it'll get less, and that'll go up as we get to the 80. This is the help menu. If you need any help, just click on that. I haven't used it once. Usually, I just figure it out myself. This is the menu. If you click on the menu, you can have the quick save game which means you just click it and it saves under quick save in the save thing. You can do save game and it will have, like this is a quick save. You can save it by just doing this and then deleting it. Oh, I can't delete it. Delete it. And I can do man array save game. That's how you do that. Then you do save. There you go. And then you can load game by going into that. Options. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know if I should go into this or not because it's quite confusing, and to understand the game, you don't really have to know this. This is to play the game, basically. So I'm not going to go into this. If you want me to go over this, I'll make a, a full other thing on very into how to play the game, basically, which will take a long time. This is going to take a long time, just by itself. All right, this is retire. This will end the game, basically. That's X to main menu, X to windows. This is just the, all the stats that we set up at the beginning. And it's to return to game. All right, so now we're going to choose the research. This is quite confusing. So usually I don't go to here, although this does show you like what your advisory recommends. Usually I just go off of what I think, but in the beginning you might want to just click one of the advisories. But let me look. Uh, so you're going to open technology tree. This is going to get more confusing because it's got all of this. We're not going to worry about anything past here, so don't move this at the beginning. Actually, unless you want to move it a little bit just to see what, what will unlock like right there. There you go. So I kind of want something to catch fish, which means because that's really close to my city. Up here, I can see right here, creating fishing boats, which will catch fish. So that's in sailing, but to unlock sailing, I have to get this first. This Once I get this one, all these will be able to be clicked on, which means they'll turn green. So we're first off, we're going to start off by getting pottery. So let's click on that. Nine turns in the future, then we will be able to click another research, will be, which I'll probably click on sailing to get the fishing. And this will finish, and then we'll have, we'll be able to build shrines and a granary. So, just kind of ignore that for now. We're going to go into that in a bit. So, uh, the settlers are consumed by building the city, by the way. That's why they disappeared. Alright, now, before we go into that one, 
let's go over this thing. This is so social policies. I actually have. Oh, this is just like a quick link to get to things. Like I can go to religious overview. All right, so we're not gonna go to that yet because that's more used later in the game when you can actually use all that stuff. This is my social policies. They're all locked right now, which is why I'm talking about up there. That culture thing. Once it fills up, you can pick one of these. And then once you pick one, you'll, you'll click it for the first time. Then, all right, sorry about that. And then once it fills up again, then you can pick one of the lower things. Usually you want to finish one off before clicking another one and unlocking it. Usually that's what I do. What's advanced view? Oh, yeah, this will just show all of them so you know it's every single perk. Oh, yeah, so once you adopt one, it gives off like these policies. Like if you adopt honor, it will uh, basically raise your effectiveness of your army in different ways. Adopting honor gives you a plus 33% combat bonus versus barbarians. Usually I pick honor first. Just because to fight barbarians, you can actually turn barbarians off in your settings. I didn't. I usually like to use them to level up my troops in order to take out city states in the future. So I need 15, as you can see at the bottom. So we're gonna go into this after later when we actually get 15 of that. So let's keep. Let's grab this. Uh, let's grab this ruins right here. Oh, we can't yet. So we're gonna go closer, and then next turn we'll grab it. Next turn. <laughs> All right, let's go down here next. This is. The thing to hide different things, you can turn on this, hide recommendations. Oh, actually, oh, I know, that's that just turns off your recommendations over there. That's actually quite helpful. Yield icons, which is basically this. I don't ever use this, to be honest. Oh, this just tells you what you can get from it, basically. Like, this is two food, this is two production, that kind of thing. I usually don't use them. It's kind of helpful, though, sometimes. As you can see, this gets two culture because that's Mount Kilman. Actually, no, wait, what is that? Oh, if you go on top of the mountain, you can get once you have uh, altitude training or whatever. And this is the trade routes. There's none right now, so you won't be able to see, you won't see anything. This is the hex grid. Some people use this. It tells you exactly like where you can move. I don't usually. So then turn all these off because I don't usually use them. Actually, I'm gonna turn this on just because it's a little helpful for watching. All right, this. I never use, but it's going to get really confusing as soon as I click on it. So, this is basically what we're seeing before, except in like a really low resolution, I guess. Basically, it helps uh, you, it's in a strategic uh, area. You might want to use this to see what to do. I never use it. You don't really have to. But, basically, this, there's a lot of stuff that you don't really need to look at. So, let's return to map and let's get out of this view. Alright. I didn't really go over very much to my city thing. So let's do this first. So this is, uh, you can look right here. This is the Wonders. That's uh, Palace. This is the ones I can build right now, I believe. There's no slot right there. See, the citizen management. Uh, it can be focused. I usually just could default. I don't really have it on this stuff. So let's get out of that. This is one, there's one citizen. He adds this stuff. Or this is what he's done. Uh, 13 turns to border growth, which is when that grow to there. And you can change production. I'm not going to, though, because I like what I'm producing right now. And you can purchase uh, the unit or building automatically, which I actually haven't done. But, but yeah, usually I don't really worry about anything in here. I don't usually use any specific things in here when I'm actually playing, so just kind of ignore this. Unit needs to be moved. Alright, we're gonna grab this ruin. There we go. Ruins explored. You will find survivor in the ruins. Oh, yeah, sometimes you find settlers too. I forgot about that. Or survivors. Am I gonna. Oh, yeah, that. No. I guess they went. Where'd they go? Oh, I got another citizen. That's why. I was trying to figure out where the survivors went. Because sometimes it's an, a, a unit. Or just sitting there. Alright, so this is what happens when you meet another civilization. Basically, when a troop comes and sees you, they will, like, this little screen will pop up and all this, like, they start talking and stuff. Basically, like, the first time you see them, you just want to hit goodbye, you don't want to do anything. That's because I saw these guys. These are Siamese. Alright, we're going to look over here a little bit. Make this less cloudy. Alright, we're going to go up here next with the warriors to give more options about that. So let's go over here. Next turn. Oh yeah, so these right. Oh yeah, so these little uh, circles right here, they're basically telling what you can get in there, what to, you can add to the trade in there. 
These are all these are just bananas and sheep and pearls and fish and marble. Nothing too interesting yet. So let's get hopefully we'll find more stuff into that. Alright, let's go. Oh there you go, another ruins. Good. You wanna find a lot a lot of ruins because they're helpful. Alright. So let's do unit needs orders. Let's grab this. Oh, barbarian encampment discovered. Good. Uh, crew the job map with outlines surrounding areas. Oh, well that was helpful. So basically, what it did was oh, there's gold down there and some copper. I got a map which I've never gotten before, so I didn't notice mention it. There's cotton. Basically, it show it like scouted out areas for me without me actually going there. I don't know where the barbarian encampment is. Let's see. Oh, it's right there. I think I can take him out. Oh, I did find weapons, so yeah, I can probably take him out. Yeah, I can easily take them out. Alright, so we got pottery. So now we get to pick another production. Oh wait, no, we get to pick another research, but our production ended as well, which which means we built the monument. Basically that means we can work on other things now too. So let's do we're gonna do actually can't uh, kinda need sailing before we can actually work anywhere. I suppose we can get Yeah, we're gonna make some farms, so let's get a worker. <laughs> we're gonna choose a research. And sailing. It needs to be moved. So we're gonna move this guy in this direction so that we can fight this barbarian encampment next time I'm going to explain the, the fighting type thing so basically now that the turn started I can drag this with holding left click drag it over this guy and you can see right here I can't really show it but right here there's a pop-up window and the little bar on the left which is my approximate damage uh, that's the bar on the left is my health the bar on the right is their health so you you always want to your approximate damage inflicted to be higher than theirs before you attack them. Basically, minor victory. Usually on the top where it says minor victory, you always want it to say victory in some way. And the what I'm losing is 23 damage. So this is a good this is a good call right here to fight them because it's a a victory basically. Also, once I once I take these guys out, I'll explain why you want to attack barbarian encampments. So let's keep... Oh, adopting policy. Here we go. So, we've got all this stuff. Basically, what we're going to... We're going to turn off this because it's kind of confusing. So let's do... Uh, first, I'm going to do honor. Like I said, usually that's what I do first. So I'm just going to adopt. And it's going to add 33% combat wounds to barbarians. So that should, that'll actually be helpful right now because I'm fighting barbarians. So that's good. So we're going to adopt that. That's all I can do right now. Because I, I don't have enough. Once I have 20 culture, I can do that. <laughs> Oh, another one? Where is it? Oh, it's far away. You don't have to worry about that. It kind of just sprung up. Alright, let's give this guy more damage. And next turn we'll take him out. He'll be good. Yeah, see, look, he's really low health. Uh, these are our health for each one. Alright, we got promoted. Basically, uh, this is to heal instantly. That's all. You, I usually don't use that unless I ha unless it's a scout and it's in a battle. Which I've done before, which I don't suggest, to be honest. Yeah, I got cornered at one point, I had to do it. But this, the, basically, when you use promote, you don't use this unless you really have to, because these are a lot more useful in the future, and it's just using this as kind of a waste, because you can just heal it by yourself in, in time. So basically, what I usually do this is drill, this is uh, shock. Drill means more uh, plus 15% compact strength when fighting in rough terrain, like hills, fungus, blah, fungus, <laughs> hills, forest, or jungle. This is 15% combat strength when fighting an open terrain. Basically, like here, this is open terrain. But right now, I'm in a forest, and they're on a mountain. So we're gonna we're gonna use drill just to help us out. And there's a lot of forest around here, so we're gonna do that. All right, so we got him. So after we capture the uh, barbarian encampment, you get a little prize. Sometimes it's a unit. Sometimes it's gold. Right now, I got gold. It's kind of the same thing as ruins. All right. So now that I have uh, finished that, once this turn ends. <laughs> Alright. Turn to that. Alright. Um Alright, making sure my mic is muted. Alright, oh good. We we extended over here. So once this uh these works will be done, they can work on this marble. Which will uh add four happiness, which is good. Alright, sorry about that. So, what was I doing? Return the map. 
So basically, oh, where's my unit? There we go. Basically, what I'm gonna do now, since my health is low, before wandering around, maybe wandering into another barbarian encampment, I want to heal. This will take a few turns, but so we're just gonna keep clicking next turn until it's done. Basically, it adds ten every time for this small unit. All right, we have an opt policy. Good, so we can get into this. Uh, Fifteen percent combat strength melee, melee units. Usually, I do this first. This just adds a this adds a great generals, and they're earned 50% faster. It also adds uh, 15 production when training melee units. Usually I wait for this, because once you get a great general, that you can move him around and find a good place, and you can place down a citadel. Citadels extend your land a little bit. I will ex I'm not going to go into that. Pretty much you can kind of tell what happens when you play the game. But extend your land is good to use it later, because then you can extend it when you really need it. Alright, so first I'm going to start, start off with Discipline. Alright. So, I've basically gone over a lot of things. We're going to go over, first we're going to go over uh, mining things first. Like, what to place here, what to place there. Right after my works are done. After that, I think you, got, you guys get the gist of what's going on. Because I pretty much went over everything to start off the game. Get you started, get you to understand kind of what's going on. And let's all right. Next turn, we want to heal them all the way up. Maybe one more turn. Next turn, yeah. There we go. Once the health bar disappears, it means they're fully healed. All right, sailing. All right, good. It's actually good because then I can go into that. So what we're gonna do now that we've got sailing, which means we uh, our thing we wanted to do is complete. What I want to do next is mining because right here we can mine this. So we're gonna do that. A bit of mining. See these little, uh, the silver type uh, logos? Those are things you can build. Like, your workers can do. Like this, you can construct a plantation. You can con construct a pasture, which is for when there's animals around you. So if I was near the sheep, I would construct a pasture. But I'm not, I don't, my area isn't covering that yet. So what I'm going to do is do a mine, which means you can get rid of the forest, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to make a mine over here. And it needs orders. So these guys are done. Let's bring them. Um... Right, there's another civilization right there, which isn't too good because I want to get. I want to get this in my civilization, which means I want to. I kind of want to make it so I have my second city when I settle another city is over near here because I want this copper, and this gold. But it's kind of separated by mountains, so it's gonna be kind of hard. All right, all right. We met another. We met Sweden, so I don't. I don't care that much. Where they? Where were they? Where did we meet them? Oh, they're right there. That's Swedish. They went up to my lines just to see me. Because they like me so much. Alright, let's take out this guy. See, this is a major victory because... Yeah, we're, we're higher level than them. See, see how much damage I'm doing to them? That's good. The more damage, the better. I'm more advanced than the Barbarians at this point. So it's quite easy to take them out. Alright, so they're almost dead. We're going to hit them one more time. No, don't you dare run away. Come back here. Alright, we got him. And then, and whenever you kill the barbarians, you get, as you can see, you get 5 XP, uh, plus 8 culture, and plus 4 faith. Which is quite useful. Is that surrounded by mountains? I think it is. Next turn. Because we can't move yet. So let's go over here. Oh, it's not surrounded by mountains. Good. So I think if we sell the city right here, That'll be good because then it'll stand this way and this way, and we can get both copper and, and gold. So let's explore a little bit around here. Panthea found it. Alright. I'm at the bottom right now because uh, it's the start of the game. That's usually how it starts. Alright, our workers are done. Good. We haven't finished mining yet, but we're going to move them in this direction so they can make a mine. Alright, let's move these guys over here, explore what else is around here so that you know if this is a good place to make a city. Alright, we met Greece. Cool, goodbye. Choose production. Basically, what we're going to do next is we're going to get a work boat so we can work these uh, this fishing in the pearls, which is in our area. So we're going to do that. Next turn. Work boats work, work very similar to workers, so I'm not really going to go over them once they finish. You researched a new technology. Okay, we finished mining, so good. We can move right there, and we 
Okay. Oh, right. Marble needs a qu needs a query. That was dumb. All right. That was my bad. We need masonry to re do that. So we're gonna go over here first, and make up make a farm right now. I forgot that marble doesn't use uh, a mine. All right. So it looks like these guys are kind of close. Greeks. I don't know where their area is. Kind of makes me nervous. All right. So let's do masonry so we can get that next turn. Alright, so let's go over here, build this farm, and farm adds one food. Food you don't really have to worry about, unless you have not enough, then your people start to starve, so that's not good. So you always want to have a good amount of farms. May adopt a policy. Alright, adopt a policy. We're going to do, we're not going to, we're going to ignore that again, so we're just going to do this. Bang, if it, with a city that has a garrison, increases your happiness by one. We don't have a garrison. Alright, there's nothing that way. Next turn. Alright, that's shiny thing. I'm not really sure what that does. That just shows where you move from, I guess. Let me check. Nope, I have no idea what that does then. It shouldn't be that important. Alright. Oh, it can fire upon an enemy. This is important. So when this little uh circle with like a aiming type thing shows up, when you click on it, it shows that a barbarian is close enough for me to fire on it with my city. This is an important part for later in the game when you're at, when you're at war with a civilization or city state, because when they come close to your borders, you can fire a a ranged attack which has no effect to you but lots of effect to them. It's quite strong actually. So we're gonna fire that at them. Right now it's arrows. The higher this right there. Oh, okay, we'll go over that in a second. Once we go back to there. All right, so that's where Greece is. That's kind of close to over here. Yeah, I'll be fine. All right, next turn. Let me go over here first. Uh-oh. Oh, I know what they're going to do. They're going to settle a city over here. That's not good. We're going to watch see if they do that. Alright, we're going to fire upon... Alright, they're both damaged. These guys are going to try to steal our stuff, so we're going to... We're going to do that. They're going to try to steal our workers, which is bad. I hate when they steal stuff. If you watch my stream, you'll see what happens when when that happens. I don't get very... I'm not very happy when they steal my stuff. All right, let's see where these we, these settlers go. Oh, they only went right there. That's okay. Oh, it actually moved me where I wanted to go. That's cool. I'm okay with them going right there. They're just grabbing the copper. Because there's copper right here. <laughs> Union's orders. Let's go right here. Oh, there's people right there. Oh, we attacked them right away. Cool. That's okay, because we, we had an advantage, so... I don't think we didn't have a disadvantage, because that would be bad. All right, I can fire upon an enemy again. Let's fire upon these guys. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, wait, no. I thought there was another another enemy down there. Alright. Now let's have them build another farm over here. Construct another farm. Let's have these guys... Oh, they have another promotion. I believe this is in hills. Yeah, this is in hills. Let's do... We're going to drill again. We're going to attack these guys. There's another people behind you where we have to be careful that we don't go too low, because otherwise they'll just swoop in and kill us. But we seem to be okay health right now. Masonry. Uh, awesome. So now we can use our workers to yeah, make a quarry for the marble. So that's good. Barbarian encampment cleared. Oh, there's gems right here. See if we can get a city actually near that. That'll be helpful. Choose research. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, bronze working, because then we'll see the iron on the map. Alright, next turn. Alright, let's range attack these guys again. Uh, I usually don't really look at these. This just explains what the work posts do. Which I kind of already explained. It is the same thing as workers. Alright, we're going to have the work boats go to here. They're going to work this. Unit will be consumed. All right, let's do let's do one more then. Basically, gets rid of your work. It's a little different. It's kind of like a mix of a settler and a worker, which means it consumes it when you work in the tile and it just makes this thing, which means it's working it and adding it to the trade. Choose production. Next, we're going to do we're going to make another work boat because we need to do the fishing too. Next turn. Let's grab these. Let's hit these guys. Oh, wow, that's quite even. I think we're going to kill him in two turns. We should be able to live through this. 
I got three guys left. Three v five. We can do it. I right, gold per turn, except embassy. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need a gold right now, to be honest. They have no luxury resources. Okay. I don't really need gold. I have 215. <laughs> except embassy means they basically like are your friends. All right. There we go, decisive victory. Then after this, we're gonna heal. 3v5, easy win. Oh, we almost flawless them. Only one guy died. Basically, the less less health you have, the less people you have. How it works. Alright, so if we can get... Actually, what would be more helpful, if there's no one down here, we can get those gems and the copper. And if we can buy, like, a crap ton of land, get over the gold. So this guy, these guys don't get it. Alright, we're gonna heal right here. All right, we can fire on them one more time. Yeah, let's just take out these guys. Get out. Yeah, now they're not a threat. A threat. We get culture for hitting them, by the way. We don't get experience. What are these guys doing? That's what I'm worried about. Get a little bit lag while we're moving around. It's okay. All right. Workers. They're gonna build another what are they gonna do? Oh, we're gonna make a quarry now, right? A quarry. Next turn. Soon we're gonna be close to oh. uh Great Leader, would you care to make a declaration of friendship to the world? My hope is that you can build a long lasting bond between us. Uh no, nah, I'm good, thanks. Perhaps another time. Yeah, maybe. Maybe if you get something useful for me. That was another one. Alright, that makes me nervous. I'm gonna... I don't really wanna... I don't think they can capture people in my area, so I should be okay. Next turn. I dare you to go closer. This is right on my range of my city attacking. No, they ran away. Alright, we got bronze working. Now we can see where the iron is. Alright. Oh good, there's iron right near us. Right there. That's good. Where's some more iron? There's some more... Nowhere near us. Alright. Well, at least that one's near us. Choose research. Let's do... Oh, we're going to need to construct a plantation soon because we're about to get to bananas. I need a banana plantation to make get bananas. So, wait. Actually, let me look. Yeah, I'll be fine. We'll do calendar. Next, we'll do animal heart husbandry or archery. Next turn. Alright, we're healing back up again. Please wait. Actually, we're not gonna we're not gonna let him heal anymore. We're gonna want to explore over here before someone else can settle near here. Oh, there's iron over here too. Good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna settle over here. Next turn. Why are right, they not constructing? Okay. It's supposed to be. Next turn, please wait. And it's because people got close to them. All right, adopt a policy. We're gonna do this one. That lowers the gold cost of upgrading your units. We don't have an option to upgrade them right now because we're not into a higher era. You get into higher eras by doing research. I'll explain it in a second. That'll be the last thing I'll explain because this pretty much, pretty much uh, sums up how to understand Civ Five so far. All right, let's do. Let's go over here. Oh no, there's a civilization right next to there. All right, there's another workboat. Let's put them right here. Do that. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to make a settler so that we can go over there and claim that area. It's going to be 14. 14 turns. We're not going to get that far, though. We're not going to go... In this tutorial-type video, we're not going to do that because that's something that you can do in like a whole series type thing. Why is it not making a, a... They don't like to make it when it's right next to it. When they're right next to them, that's why. Go away. I want to make my query. They're going to keep going back and forth and messing me up. Oh, there's silver right here, too. Oh, it's right next to them, though. If we can make the city... Right... Right, that's right there. You can only make it four... Four, like, blocks away from the other one. So one, two, three, four. Alright. Make the city, like, right... Here, on top of the diamonds. And quick buy... 
that one and that one. We can get the silver. So we just gotta go quickly before they grow. But that's not gonna happen. So yeah. Basic oh, Golden Age is done. There we go. So we get all this like new production. So we get more production, that kind of thing. Basically, this pretty much sums up how to understand Civ 5. If you have any other questions, just comment in the section below and I can explain it to you in a next video or just in, a, in the comment section because it's a short enough question. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Twitch stream. I'm going to be streaming Civ 5. And to if you really like the game, you can go check that out see what I'm doing. I'm actually having quite fun because uh, some uh, Portugal got in my way a little bit. So you can go check out the Twitch stream to see that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.